Hey there, welcome to Sajikor Online Camp, a series where children like you can have a safe place to learn and be involved in fun and educational online activities. That's right, fun and education in the same sentence. Who says being at home has to be boring? We're here to make sure that you not only learn new things, but you have fun while doing it. We have a lot of games and activities like fraction noodles, tic-tac-toe, story time, exercising, cooking, and even yoga. And parents, you're not left out. We have a parent's corner to bring the big kid out in you so you and the children can enjoy it all together. Hi everyone! So we have math detected word problems. These come with eight of your different problems, one through eight. It comes with a sheet for you to write on. And then for the parents, it comes with your answer sheet at the back. Now, this is to really engage your reasoning skills, as long as your mathematics skills and comprehension and reading skills. So all in all, your cognitive skills are, you, are being used all in one. So uh, we have the first one, baking pies. It says, Emily and Jacob decided to bake pies for the school bake sale. They baked six pies all together. Two of the pies were cherry and the rest were apple. They used four and a half pounds of cherries for each cherry pie and nine apples for each of the apple pies. They spent two hours getting the pies ready to go into the oven. The pies needed to bake for 45 minutes each. Two pies could fit in the oven at a time. Then they were done. They decided to keep one of the apple pies to share with their families. They brought the rest of the pies to bake sale the next day. So as you can see, these have a lot of components and it has a lot of instructions and things going on within the story. That's why it's so important to read your story more than three times to truly understand. And because these are laminated, you can use your marker or your highlighter and highlight the most important parts before you even get to the question side. It's very, very important. I cannot stress enough how important it is to read and understand and analyze and reason with your story that you have in comprehension skills. This is for 11 plus age range, so you know that with 11 plus you need to read carefully in order to answer the questions in a speedy motion. So after you've read your comprehension three to four times, underlining, as I said, the important cues, the important notes, how many they were, where did they go, was it in a home setting, all these things you have to ask yourself. Then you go to the questions. And question A is, how many pies did Emily and Jacob bring to the big sale? Question B, how many pounds of cherries did they buy? Question C, how many apples did they buy? Question D, how long did it take to bake all of the pies all together? These are also, you have to do mathematical skills to see which one and go through the story again. And then you would place your answer where you have the A button here and you put down accordingly, A, B, C, and D, and it goes on and on. If you would like, you can photocopy this or you can make it with your, your hand as well and make a makeshift, but all these things are accessible at home and you don't always have to get this story. You can make up a story within, with your child yourself. I recommend that you take one of these per day so it doesn't get too monotonous with the child and they lose interest quickly. It's best to take one per day and do it at a time, but don't forget you can always make up your own story. Hello and welcome to Local Bites, a cooking show for kids by kids. Powered by Sajikor Life Inc. Hi, I'm Maria and welcome to Local Bites. Today we will be making stretch mugots. Do you know what that is, Michaela? Of course, Mother. It's another great Belizean treat. The ingredients needed for this recipe are three cups of sugar, one cup of coconut water, half a stick butter or four tablespoons, and half a lime. And before we get started, we must wash our hands. The first thing we will do is to take two teaspoons of butter and grease the pan. Another reason why our hands must always be clean. While Michaela is doing that, I will ask the Sajikor Security to come help us light the stove. Hi, I'm Tessa. I'm the Sajikor Security. 
My job here today is to light the stove and stir the pot. With the Sajikoi security over my back, I will now grease the pot with two tablespoons of butter. I will make sure that the pot is properly greased with the butter all over the sides. Made, it's time for the coconut water. I will continue to mix this up and bring it to a boil, but not before I add the sugar. We will now stir this until all the sugar crystals dissolve. In the meantime, we will add half a lemon to it. This citric acid is important. If you notice, today our mixture is a little bit darker than usual because instead we use brown sugar when traditionally people use white sugar. This mixture is already boiling but we have to let it reach the temperature of 270 degrees. This has been on the pot for about 20 minutes. Because we don't have a thermometer, we will test it the old-fashioned way by putting a drop in cold water and if, if it is pliable, then it is ready. Let's try. It is ready. This means that it is now time to take it out of the pot. We will now leave it for a few minutes to cool. We will now try forming it into a ball. Timing is important because if you wait too long it will turn hard. It's turning into a stretchy candy. You're going to need gloves to work with this candy. So if you don't have them yet, go fetch them. If you notice, it's already getting thicker. They call it stretch my guts for this reason, as it stretches the intestines. To add a fun twist to it, we're taking these sticks and rolling it in the candy to make like sweets. Traditionally, they come out as balls. So you have to work fast before it gets hard. Initially, I'm sure you were wondering where it got its name from. But after watching this, I'm sure it has become clear to you. Another sweet treat from coconuts. Michaela, we finally got use of our surgical security. We sure put her to work. One more thing I'm sure you learned today is that coconut water is not only used for drinking, but can make one sweet snack. We don't know the origin of the term stretch bigots, but we are assuming that it came from its texture and its appearance. One sure thing we do know that it is, but it is nice. Once again, we have accomplished another great feat. We, we have made sweets. sweets! It is best that we eat local, even our snacks. Thank you for watching Local Bites. I am Madison. And I am Michaela. Remember to always keep your hands clean, avoid touching your mouth, your nose, and your eyes. This game today will be tic-tac-toe. Now, this game is to be played with two persons. Each person will have their own card. You need to have your die and your moving pieces. This can be caps, like bottle caps or paper or stones or anything really that you could find if you don't have these two things at home. So you go have through one through 20 cards and you have the verbiage on the front and you have to tell me the meaning of the word that's underlined and then from there you have to then pick A through D which one it is. So this one says the smooth dancer moves with elegance across the stage and then you have bumpy, clumsy, beautiful, grace. So you know that elegance means grace through the stage so you have D. So when the person gets it correct, they will mark down on the tic-tac-toe, either X or O or whatever we want to use. And then once they get three vertically or horizontally or diagonally, then that person will win the game. And it's quite 
easy and it's about context clues and really learning some things in comprehension. Certain words you may not know um, what, what they mean, but once they're used in the context of the sentence, you can kind of figure out what the actual word means. So you can take another one and it says, the judge questioned the witness, but he sat silent and declined to answer. And we have willingly, helpful, refuse, or pleasantly. So we know that decline means to refuse to answer. So yet again, you would read it to your partner and hopefully they get the right answer and you mark it down. And then you go from there. Easy peasy. Take that too. Hey guys, welcome back to our Sajikara Online Camp. Once again, my name is Sheldon Jones and I'm here to carry you through your workout for the day. Let's have fun. Give me all you got, okay guys? Are you ready? Before every exercise session, what I want us to do, I want us to warm up before, just to make sure that we remain as safe as possible, okay? So we're gonna start, we're gonna start high and come low. Okay guys, we're gonna warm our arms up with big circles forward. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna reverse it now. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna come in and out. One, two, three, four, and five. And hug yourself tight, guys. Awesome, good job. I want you to widen your feet now. I want you to touch the ground, okay? And bounce for me. One, two, three, four, five. And up. One, two, three, four, four, five. We twist left and right for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now, guys, we're going to swing your legs back and forth, okay? So we're going one. Good job. Two, three, four, five. Keep your balance, okay? Don't fall. Next leg. One, two, three, four, five. Are you going side to side, okay? One, two, three, four, and five, guys. Next leg. One, two, three, four, Five. Great job guys, on this spot, just want your bumps and loosen up. Get crazy guys, move your hands, move your legs, warm up, warm up, and that's it. We're ready to start the exercises, okay guys? Get ready. Once again, I have five new exercises for you today. We're going to have fun, we're going to do it with everything that we have, and we're going to make sure that we have a blast, all right guys? Let's go. Our first exercise is arm circles, okay? It's very simple, arms don't stretch, and I want you to make circles as fast as you can, right? And we're gonna count to 10 while doing them, okay? In three, two, one, and go. One, fast guys, two, go guys, three, four, five, quick guys, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job guys, we're going on now to frog lunges, guys. What do you want you to do? On your all fours, we're gonna jump, we're gonna switch our feet, okay? So you're gonna jump, one, go, two, three, Four, you having fun guys? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent job guys. We're going on now to toe touch crunches guys. You lay down flat on your back, bring your feet up, and we're gonna to try to touch our toes, okay guys? And go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome job, guys. We're back up on our feet now, and we're going on to skipping, all right, guys? This is a 10 count, all right? You want to count to 10 while skipping as fast as you can. Okay, guys, I want to simulate the skips, okay? In three, two, one, and skip. One, two, three, skip, guys. Four, five, on your toes, guys. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job, guys. Last exercise for the day that we have is boxer punches, guys. While you plant your feet, while you tighten your stomach, guys, and you want to punch as fast as you can. And you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, guys, that was the end of a hard workout. We're going to warm down now, okay, guys? So don't you relax. We breathe nice and deep for me. In. 
hold it and out. Give me two more times, guys. In and out. And warmer, guys. I want you to give me a big deep breath. Pull as long as possible, okay? In. Hold your breath. And out. Awesome job, guys. We're going to stretch our arms now. Stretch your shoulder. You're going to hold it, okay? In three, two, one. Great job, guys. Next arm. Hold it. In five, four, three, two, one. Great job, guys. We want you to stretch up and behind. Pull on your elbow. And one, two, three, four, five. And the next hand, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Great job, guys. I want you, what, you, what I want you to do, I want you to fold your fist, fist in your back, elbows out, and what you do, arch forward and stretch from here. And one, hold it, guys. Two, three, four, and five. Good job, guys. Feet together. We're going to grab the back of our calves, tuck our head as close into our knees as possible, and keep your knees straight and stretch. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job, guys. Widen your feet. Wide as you can, as wide, wide, wide as you can. Okay, just don't split, guys, okay? I want you to grab two hands to one ankle and stretch. One, two, three, four and five. Next leg guys, here. And one, two, three, four and five. Good job guys, come back together. We're gonna raise our foot up and hold it. One, keep your balance, don't fall. Two, three, four, five. Make sure you don't fall before your friend, okay? Next leg, and hold it. One, two, keep that leg up. Three, hold your balance guys, don't fall. Four and five. Right, guys, behind now, we're going to stretch our leg. In one, two, three, four, five. Next leg. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Shake out, in and out. Loosen up. Make sure you're nice and fresh. And go and get something to eat, guys. Have a good day. Welcome to Sajikos Online Camp in collaboration with Pen Your Productions. I'm Auntie Sasha, and today we're going to do some hip hop. Hope you guys are ready. Make sure you have your towel by the side and your water because this one is going to get you nice and hot and sweaty. So let's warm up. Just follow along. Stand nice and tall. Let's go. Get that body pumping, that heart rate up, that body moving. You're ready to go. Head. And up. And so. All around. Other side. Shoulders forward. Take it back. Again, forward and back and torso. Forward and back. Those hips. And one, two, three, four, and run. And kick, 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 kick. One, two, three, four, and run. Power. 
and side. And forward. Side. And jump, jump, down. Keep it open, reach. And hold it there. And reach. And hold it there. And again, over. And run. And kick, 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 over. And run. And kick, 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 kick. All right. You guys are nice and warm because I sure am. Woo! That was a great start to our workout, our hip hop class. So we're going to go straight in to our sequence. All right? You can have a sip of water if you need it. Dab off that sweat and let's go. So we're going to start with slowly rolling up. So the first couple of counts. You're still on the floor. Then you're going to slowly roll up. Head is the last thing to come up. And then you're going to hit two poses. For these poses, I want you to choose your own pose. Whatever you want to do, whatever reflects who you are, your personality, your attitude, your style, you choose those two poses. So I'm going to do this one for mine and this one for mine. So you can do whatever you want to do. So down, rolling up slowly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you go pose your own pose, pose your own pose. From there, then we're going to go stamp, 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 stamp. So you're opening, right open, left open, right in, left in. Then you're going to give me some pivots, and with those pivots, you're going to go Boom, 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 boom with your upper body. So you're going pivot with the legs like this. Pop, 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 pop. And the upper body is going boom, 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 boom. So putting that all together, you're going boom, 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 boom. And you're going backwards with it. So you just did your roll up from the beginning. You did your two poses, whatever that is for you. Boom, boom. Then we have our step out. Step right, step left, step in, step in. Then we have our pivots. One, two, three, four. And then there's a roar of a lion in the music. And then the lion in the music roars. I want you to step forward with your right leg and go roar. Good? So that's your roar. Roar. Let's try that short bit with the music. So you're down. Slowly coming up. Then you have your pose. Pose. And pose. And out, out, in, in. Pivot. Roar. Yeah. So I hope your roar was nice and loud. You should roar so loud it shakes your house. Roar. Yeah. All right, let's move on. From there, we're going to take our legs out to the side. So you're going to go boom. Boom, hold it, hold it. So that's the legs. And I want you to bend the knees and get as low as you can. Boom, boom, hold it, hold it. Then we're gonna go to the left. Boom, boom, hold it, hold it. So that's the feet. And the body is going similar to our pivot at the beginning. The body is going boom, boom, hold it, hold it, boom, boom. Hold it, hold it. All right, let's see that body again. Boom, boom, hold it, hold it. Boom, boom, hold it, hold it. So let's put those two things together. So we have boom, boom, hold it, hold it. Boom, boom, hold it, hold it. Great. So that's coming out of our roar. So let's do our arm motions for our roar. You don't actually have to roar this time. You can keep that nice loud roar for when we do it with the music. So we have our roar, 
And then we have our right leg going out first. Boom, boom, hold it, hold it, boom, boom, hold it, hold it. And we repeat that again. Boom, boom, hold it, hold it, boom, boom, hold it, hold it. Good. From there, we have our heel touches. So, your heel is what is going to touch the floor. So, your heel is going heel, right leg, heel, and then hold it there, hold it there. Heel, heel, hold it there, hold it there. Good, let's try that again. So, right, left, hold it there, hold it there, right, left, hold it there, hold it there. Do you guys have that? Do you want to try from the top to the beginning, from the beginning to there? Let's try that. Right down. moving at home nice so from there we're adding on so we just said our heel 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 we jump open boom nice big V and we go push push good so those knees have to be bent so that you can go straighten down straighten down so that again and straighten down straighten down then those arms are going to come around across your chest. So nice straight arms. We're going to keep them in a fist. But you want to, if you want to give somebody a knock who's all the way across the room from you. So you've got to stretch your arms really far to give them that knock to bring those arms around. And then those arms come around, the feet come together. Good? So we have boom, boom, around, together. Bring those arms right in front of you and you're going to lean with it. Rock with it. Good? Lean with it. Rock with it. So let's go from our heel touches again. So heel, 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 heel. Jump. Boom, ta, boom, ta. Around, boom. Lean with it. Rock with it. Nice. After that, we're going to go around. So you want if you want to make a semicircle with your right leg. So that's that leg is going to go around, and you're going to give me a paddle bourree. Walk back, side, front. Good? So a paddle bourree is three steps. So you can sing back, side, front in your head to help you remember where you need to step. So we just did our lean with it, rock with it. We're going to take our right leg around, drawing a circle, a semicircle on the floor. So we have a round, back, side, front. This left leg is going to come up, and we're going to bring our arms to meet it. Boom, down. Then we're going to repeat that two times faster. Up, down, up, down. Good? So let's go from our semicircle again. So semicircle, back, side, front. Our paddle bourree. Up, down. Boom, 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 boom. Good. From there, we're going to do a body roll, starting from our head. So we're going to go head, roll. Then we're going to slide to the left and we're going to push our arm, right arm away like our right arm is forcing us to slide. Push it away. Boom. Together. All right. Good. So we're going to do that. Push away. Boom. Together. And then we're going to twist our knees. So we have hair. We just did. Boom. Shada boom. Shada boom. We're going to push away. And then we're going to go twist, twist. So knees are going to point together to the left, then to the right. Then we're going to do a really big jump. So we're going to go twist, twist, and you're going to jump back and kick your left leg forward. Kick. Good. And swipe those arms in front of you. So let's go from our twist again. 
twist, twist. Then you're gonna go kick. Bring those legs together. And then you're gonna do this nice groovy step all around your space. You're gonna go slide and slide and slide and slide. And you can do whatever arms you wanna do. Just make it groovy and fun. So we're gonna do about five of those. Slide and slide. Three, four, five. Good. And then we're gonna go point. And that's our end. What do you guys think? So let's try that with some music. I think you guys got it. Before we go with our, with our music, let's do those slides one more time. Slide, two, three, four, five. We have something in before we finish our point. So we have those runs, some nice fast runs on the spot. Run, 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 then our point. And then we finish. All right, so let's do it one last time with the music. Get all your energy, all the vibes ready, and let's go. Starting now. <laughs> warm down. That's so big, right, B? Deep breath in and out. Today, guys. Thank you so much for joining our hip hop class. This was Sadri Course Online Camp in collaboration with Tenure Productions. Bye! <laughs>
breathe and smile. Five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, lower your arms. Release your left leg down with the help of your left hand and return to standing pose. Let's switch legs now. So fix your gaze on a stationary point in front of you. Shift your weight to your right, to your left leg. Lift your right foot and place that any comfortable part of your left leg. As you inhale, raise your arms up. Join the palms into Namaste above your head. Keep your gaze on the focal point and keep your balance steady. Maintain the final posture with normal breathing. Lengthen the spine. Engage your core. Breathe normally. Do not hold your breath and smile. Hold the posture for five more seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. As you exhale, lower your arms. Release your left, your right leg down with the help of your right hand. Stand in a standing relaxed position. We will repeat again, starting with your left foot. Lift your left foot up. Raise your hands upwards. Join palms in the musty position above your head. Keep your gaze on a focal point. Lengthen your spine. Engage your core. Breathe normally. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, lower your arms. Release your legs. Return to standing position. Next side. Lift your right foot. Raise your arms up. Join at the musty position above your head. Keep your gaze on the focal point in front of you. Keep your balance steady. Maintain the final posture with normal breathing. Do not hold your breath. Keep a long and tall spine. Engage your core. Breathe normally. Smile. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Lower your arms. Release your leg. Stand in stand and relax position with your eyes closed. Hands to the side of the body. Feel the balance in both sides of your body. This posture is excellent for concentration and balance of both the body and the mind. is your figurative language segment and you have your simile, your cliche, can't read upside down sorry, the alliteration, the idiom, the metaphor and they're basically all puzzle pieces to fit. So for example for one of them you have your simile and it is it's defined by a comparison of unlike things using like or as, that's one puzzle piece. Then the other puzzle piece gives you an example. So grandma would stand as proud as a peacock. And these are things that you can shift around and then your kids can figure out which one goes to which. All right? And then while doing that, you, after doing that, sorry, you're gonna have your comprehension, which is grandma's garden. 
and you read it through and then you circle or underline the figurative languages that you find that you have as well as the puzzle piece. And then on the back of it, it's also showing you things that you can make yourself. So you put in the word which is stopping to the ground, Sarah smells sweet as scarlet, whatever that is, and you write it through to see and then you cut out, cut out your own and use your own and which example you have for them. So it's quite easy for our 11 plus age group to learn what a cliche is, an item is, a simile, a metaphor, a hyperbole, just to have the definitions and the awareness and the vocabulary of what these words mean to use in 11 plus in your comprehension or your composition skills, where you would like.